Hello, good afternoon everyone and also good morning to all my speakers. But before I move to my speakers, I'm going to greet all the audience and also participants of the European Higher Education Fair 2021. Welcome to the session of the Institution Talk Show because now we are going to have the third session various University of Applied Sciences. My name is Mohamed Manatovic or Molly as your moderator for this session. And I'm going to inform you before we go to deep down um, to the session, please, if you would like to have the question, just type on your uh, chat box or your comment box on a YouTube channel, and my colleague will transfer your questions to the screen. And then I'm going to read it out uh, to all my speaker. And then for this session, okay, let me try to introduce the first one. We do have um, Yona Savu as International Account Manager from Hotel School uh, The Hague. Hello, hello. And then um, the other one we do have uh, Mr. Ewood Cock from IH IHE Delft Institute for Water Education as a marketing officer of IHE Delft. Hello, good morning, Ewood. Good morning. There you go. Okay, so this is a really exciting um, session for uh, three of us. Uh, we do still have uh, one speaker actually from Fontys University of Applied Sciences, uh, but uh, the show must go on. And then by the time we have a chat, I hopefully uh, the representative of Fontys uh, can uh, join uh, with us. Uh, and um, I know that uh, in the Netherlands uh, now it's kind of like nearly to um, uh, what is it? Winter, I believe. So get ready with your uh, <laughs> winter winter uh, gear. The first question. I think now we have to start uh, this session because this is really exciting moment about all the questions that I have. The first one regarding with the University of Applied Sciences. How is your connection with industry players that would be an advantage for your students? Because I believe uh, from the IHE and also for the Royal School, the heck, you do have like a really specific program that we have, that you have, and, and on also we know exactly what it is. So I think comes to Iona first. Do you want to answer this question? What is the connection with your industry players that would be an advantage for the students? Over to you, Iona. Of course, thank you. Uh, well, I think I'd like to start with a, a bit of an explanation of University of, of Applied Science, and that yeah. applies for, for both of us, yeah. Um, yeah. which is that is a, is a combination of academic uh, courses and also practical education, right? Um, in hotel school, we have an 80-20% ratio, so 80% academic, 20% um, uh, 20 practical and where industry comes in is that we have two internships um, so we have two internships of six months each one after the first year uh, one and one at the end and that uh, we, we are working with key industry players um, in the Netherlands also um, everywhere around in terms of hospitality um, and besides that that aspect there's also um, we have and our teachers are our industry people. Uh, being University of Applied Science, we have a lot of teachers that come from backgrounds that have had jobs, let's say as GMs, or that are doing their own research on the side, um, hospitality related, they're really integrated in, in different parts of, of the industry. Um, so they come back with all that knowledge and you can really feel it. And we do get that feedback a lot, that they're, it's a different kind of learning environment when, um, when, when the teachers and lecturers are industry people compared to just academics. Um, it's a little bit about how it interwines in, in Hotel School Day. Yeah, thank you, Iona. Okay, over to you, Edward. You would like to jump in with this question. Yes, so um, for IIT Delft Institute for Water Education, I think we have many links to, to, to practice. Um, it's basically, um, a, in our programs, we invite um, guest lecturers from, from practice, for example. And it's, it's like a pool of 500 plus uh, people, really industry leaders, who um, are invited to join their experiences in, in the classes. Furthermore, um, we cater to um, so-called early and mid-career professionals. So actually, the students, most students in our classrooms, they bring their own expertise from their businesses, from their um professional background and and we invite them to actively share 
these experiences and, and that's, that's highly valued. And thirdly, I would say uh, we're um, an institute that, that, that is involved in many uh, development projects, um, also in Indonesia. And because of that, we uh, work a lot with, with uh, partners from both academia, but also uh, government and, and consultancies. And for example, in, in Indonesia, we work with um, IT, ITB, Bandung, ITS, Surabaya. Uh, and also we have projects with, for example, the Indonesian Port Corporation and um, the Ministry of Public Works. Yep. Okay, exciting. Yes, um, thank you for the addition of the introduction of University of Applied Sciences, Iona, because I think I missed a bit for that because this is really excitement session for me. I know that some of the students, some of the participants um, that uh, watch us on YouTube, they might know that a University of uh, Applied Sciences, they put into the internship program uh, after the uh, study or as the study program as well. So with the, you know, the situation uh, that we are facing at the moment pandemic, how is the workshop and also the practical student is held in your respective uh, university, Iona? Um, so there's a few different components. So we have the internships, yep. but another practical component that we have at hotel school is that uh, in the first year, um, so in the 40 weeks that are in the curriculum in the first year, 10 of those, uh, we have uh, our students will go through practical education in the outlets that we have on campus. Um, so both campuses in Amsterdam and The Hague, uh, we have 20 hotel rooms, um, which one of them is inspired by another chain and decorated. Um, and they are uh, open for outside guests. So we have tourists coming in and staying in. And our students run the outlets. They run the reception. They run housekeeping. They run the breakfast. Uh, we have the restaurant. Um, that also is a fine dining restaurant. So they can be in kitchen. They can be in service. Um, and it's um, it's a little bit of touch and go. So they have you know 10 weeks um, within the first year when they do one week in every outlet. And uh, also have classes in between to put the foundations of, of what they're learning and so on. And um, when COVID first hit, uh, so last year, March, we, you know, it was serious. So we had to close down. Um, so we even, we moved this, this practical education, um, which is first year, but also for second year students, they manage the first years uh, for, ten, for those 10 weeks. Uh, we had to move it all online. And it was obviously, it changed the quality of the, of the practicality of it, obviously, because you can't really make croissants online <laughs> uh, or something else. Um, but now it's back. And ever since it only stopped in, in the first wave of March, April, the really early um, Corona times. Um, and now we did everything in our power to keep it open and it's going to stay open with all the regulations, the codes, the distancing. Um, and, that, and it's never going to go back to being um, closed. And in terms of internships, um, obviously it's been, you know, because that's the, the other practical component. It's been a bit difficult um to to find um to go to send students outside of Europe because of the regulations that certain countries have and all the closed borders um, but we found so many internships for our students in Holland we found so many industry projects where they could act as consultants for companies going through COVID um so we found ways to to innovate and to you know adapt and and, and really give students still the practical experience and the knowledge that they um they need on projects and um and so on Okay, thank you, Iona. But before I move on to Edward, I would like to welcome. Hello, Michael. Good morning from Fontys University of Health Sciences. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Michelle. Sorry. Okay, let me unmute. There we go. Hello, Michelle. Could you please unmute yourself? Okay, good morning. Good morning. Finally, welcome. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So um, we had a conversation regarding about the pandemic situation with the workshop and also with the internship uh, during the pandemic. So uh, do you want to answer this question during this pandemic? How is the workshop and the practical studies is held in uh, Fontys University of Applied Sciences, Michelle? 
Well, uh, I changed my background a little bit. Perhaps I should uh, change it uh, back again because then you see that uh, one second. I'll change it back again. There you go. The lovely building. This, this is our new building. So here you see the the uh, we spent twenty three million on this building. So we're pretty much proud uh, about it. And it actually got uh, this week. It got the architectural prize for being one of the best buildings uh, built uh, this year. And here you see a little bit of the inside. You see it's very spacey, very roomy. And the big advantage is, I'll go back to the, to the city of Eindhoven, by the way, but the big advantage is that, for instance, at this moment, uh, the, the government has announced that we have to stick to the 75 percent max uh, uh, um, criterion. And it, it doesn't influence us because the, the open innovation labs are constructed in a way that the max uh, that we that we, ne that we never reach that max. Uh, we have 75 people in open spaces. We have classrooms, so we have a mixture of. Uh, I'm very happy with that uh, because the international uh, students will it will not be influenced that uh, because everybody's very happy to be back in school again. And everybody, and I think that that goes everywhere, whether you're Fontes uh, or or you're uh, the the or in Den Haag or in Delft or whatsoever, and that goes for the whole of the Netherlands. Eh? Um, being back in school is basically where we do the interaction with the students, so that's important, I think, for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations for the new building. Um, I can't wait uh, to see in person for sure when the border is open. Okay. And over to you, Edward. Um, if you would like to uh, chime in with the question that I brought. So how is the workshop and the practical studies is held in IHE Delft uh, during the pandemic situation? Okay. Um, yeah, maybe first I, I have to clarify something. And that is that, that IHE Delft is a little bit different from um, well, basically, most universities and universities of applied sciences. We are a so-called institute for uh, international education. And um, so we are not a university, neither a university of applied sciences. And basically, you can um, see us as a blend between the two, because we, we do have a very practical component but also uh, the research uh, component is really important uh, in our case. For example, we have a, a PhD program with, with almost 100 PhD uh, fellows. Um, but having said that, uh, your question is about um, the, how Corona is affecting the, these, um, well, yeah, actually uh, Michel, uh, already said it right now um, it's at our institute pretty much back to normal but but we come from a real a difficult situation and I think that 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 counts for uh, for all of us uh, where students really had to um, well stay at home and and follow the the, the classes from from home and that was just uh, we had to adapt uh, all of us and and a lot of yeah, more practical components could not uh, continue. So that's, that's, yeah, just a real pity. However, I think in the end, um, well, we all managed um, to, to, to um, make it meaningful still. Um, but hopefully um, this particular situation with, with, with students working from home mostly will not uh, happen, happen again because we all agree that that these these these, these practical components and for ex one example I can give is that that in our curricula we do a lot of field trips so we organize a lot of excursions to for example um, um, wastewater treatment plants either in the Netherlands or or in Europe we uh, go to water companies where we. Um, get presentations about how they manage the, 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 the company, etc. And this is highly valued. And, and this active learning, really going out, um, being in touch with, with uh, practice is, is something that the students really value highly. And, and luckily now we can um, do this kind of activities again. Yeah. And one other uh, example is, uh, I would say, the, the, the field work. So we have these field trips and excursions, 
but also uh, we try to go as much as possible outside to nature, for example, do measurements, really uh, work with um, uh, kind of um, tools to, 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 to really um, uh, measure water, to, 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 to know what it is all about um, in practice. And, and, and these kind of uh, field uh, works are, are also really highly appreciated. And uh, we expect to organize those uh, again next year. Awesome. Well, it's really nice to see that the Netherlands um, is back to the new normal situation and that uh, all the students can come to the class, can come to the campus and also follow the health protocols as well with the hand sanitizer, with the social distancing and everything. Uh, it's really nice to have the, you know, like the in-person of offline um, uh, education uh, at the moment. Okay, next questions. Um, Regarding with the admission, because uh, some of the uh, students that are here uh, watching us online, especially on YouTube, uh, they are wondering, like, how uh, do you select your applicants to get admitted into your uh, university? Because again, uh, for the general application, of course, we do have to uh, attach our English ability score and then our motivation statement. And most of you know that um, a lot of students are wanting to getting into the University of Applied Science or University Abroad. So uh, Michelle from Fontys University of Applied Science, can you uh, deliver the, the answer for these questions? Uh, yeah, if you look at the admission, admission, um, let me have a check. Admission, uh, you have to need, you have to have a diploma, a high, higher secondary uh, education. Uh, at least uh, you need the EELS 6.0 uh, level. Uh, and there are, depending on the program you'll be doing, uh, there will be uh, some uh, additional uh, requirements, but you can always uh, contact um, uh, our agents. Eh? One of us, one of the agents already, uh, one of the representatives of uh, Fonds already um, uh, uh, joined the meeting. Eh? Welcome, Prita. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, yeah, well, basically that's it. And depending on your uh, diploma, um, we have a four-year program and we have a three and a half year and a three-year program. And the three-year program give admission to uh, the master at the TUE. And so we have uh, we work very much together because that's across the street with the Technical University of Eindhoven. And uh, these programs, especially uh, for uh, students um, who have a VVO-like diploma, eh, so what's similar to VVO in the Netherlands, uh, they can even uh, do the three-year program, yeah, but they have to do special tests for that. Okay, thank you, Michelle. How about at uh, IHE Delft, Edward Club? Could you please explain to us? Um, yeah, actually, the, similar uh, to, 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 to Fontes and in, in all universities in the Netherlands uh, are the English language uh, requirements. And, and um, well, we have also uh, I, ILTS uh, 6.0, but we prefer 6.5. English basically is really important. So, so um, that, and also... Um, we noticed that, that, that students from, from Indonesia really uh, have to, uh, well, if, if you have to get the test results in, in time for the application, sometimes that, that is an impediment for, for the actual uh, application. So English is really important. And in our case, we, we have an additional criteria, uh, criterion, and that is uh, some work experience. Um, in most of our programs, uh, I would say we really would like students to bring experiences uh, to, the, to the classroom. Um, and furthermore, uh, apart from the, 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 yeah, the usual, uh, that, that's the, the, the academic transcripts, you need to have a Bachelor of Science uh, in, in a related uh, academic discipline. Uh, in our case, that, that is mainly civil engineering, biology, um, the, the earth sciences, uh, but also uh, increasingly 
uh, some social sciences, law and economics for the, for the more uh, water management and governance um, uh, related programs. Um, but in principle, uh, apart from this Bachelor of Science, you need to have a good solid motivation uh, statement. And, and I think that's also important. Um, and that's basically a letter written why you, you wish to join the program and uh, what kind of um, yeah, future you see for yourself. Okay, thank you. I would just uh, want to confirm that how many years that applicants need to have for the work experience. In our case, it's 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 um, a minimum of I'd say two years. Um, yeah, I think that that's yeah, two years uh, is required. Okay, thank you. Okay, back to Iona. Do you have any additional uh, answer to uh, to deliver this question? Yes, I do, because at hotel school, we have a special <laughs> uh, application, admission and yeah. selection, um, actually. So first off, like uh, uh, like my, my colleagues here in the Netherlands said, we do have a standardized uh, within the Netherlands application where, yeah, it's your grade list. So for us, we need your grade list. Um, you need your CV, a motivation letter and an English certificate. We accept all of them. So we accept, yeah, again, IELTS 6 plus. Um, the Cambridge ones, CN above, um, the TOEFL, I think it's 160, I'm not <laughs> entirely sure on the TOEFL one, but we accept any of the English certificates. But with us, what is also important in hotel school is that uh, once the candidate, uh, you know, makes their application, submits their documents uh, on our website after they're all confirmed um, to know to be okay, um, then uh, the students get invited to a selection day. Um, so our selection day is D-Day for us. Uh, basically, it's how we select our students because our university is very small scale. Um, so we have 150 students uh, starting in August per campus. So 150 Amsterdam, 150 Hague and 100 in February because we have two intakes. So that's it. Uh, and we get a lot of applications. Um, so that's why we organize selection day and the students um, come in and they have to do uh, three online tests. Uh, a numerical test, um, a knowledge test, and an English test. Um, the numerical one, yeah, it's just uh, basic math, let's say, because um, we want to know that there's something there, there's a foundation of, uh, of mathematics to work on, as we have finance courses um, as well in economics um, in the curriculum. And then the knowledge test is based on an article that we send them. Uh, and then the English test is just like a double checking of their, uh, like I would say, we really want their English level to be good. So it's a bit of a double checking that it is. Um, and then they have an interview. So they have a one hour time slot uh, where they come in either online or um, obviously for Indonesia it would be, it would be online or there's uh, there's selection days abroad. Um, there's one in Thailand uh, and one in Singapore uh, that students could join if they want to. Um, and it consists of having two selectors and three components. So you have a sales pitch uh, where you really got to sell yourself. So we know everything about you. What can you tell us in two, three minutes? Why are you the perfect hotel school candidate? Um, and that's always creative. That's always fun. I've seen people do come with props and pictures and little puzzles and do cocktails. I had someone do um, her Tinder profile and hotel school's Tinder <laughs> profile, and they was like, it's a match. <laughs> so we really yeah, encourage Yeah, <laughs> just bring it out, okay? Just be creative and also out exactly. of the box. Okay, that's very exactly. awesome. Thank you, Yana. And of course, mm -hmm. to all the Indonesian students or um, who watch us uh, live now, please come to the university website as well to read uh, the very complete edition documents or a kind of edition requirements that you need to fill out because again do not miss it out because uh, that's like the part of the requirement that you have to submit to the university okay now we are going to have questions from the audience i think the question is um coming oh this is one for fontes okay for you michelle from zendi renan for fontes do you directly accept students with an indonesian high school diploma you mean, yeah, that's uh, students coming from uh, uh, similar to high school. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, uh, they, they are uh, accepted, um, especially if they are depending on what they are going to study. Eh, they uh, they are accepted. And um, uh, there's there's also a difference between whether you're 
uh, non-European or, or European. Eh? We have uh, different uh, fees when we accept them. But though uh, for those students who, um, especially in ICT and, and engineering, if they um, have a good grade for math, then uh, they can even get a, a scholarship. But, but we accept these students indeed. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Michelle. And then question for you, Elwood. This is another question from Fahri Husani. Um, I would like to ask to uh, Elwood, currently I am in the Bachelor of Chemical Engineering. Uh, if it's, uh, is it possible for me to continue my master degree in wastewater treatment technology? If so, is there any special requirements for me that needs to be fulfilled? Oh, okay. Well, the answer is yes. Um, if, if you're if you have a bachelor in in, in chemical um, engineering, then then uh, or chemical science, uh, chemics, um, studying wastewater engineering, focusing on that is is uh, perfectly possible. Um, well, requirements um, apart from English and and uh, preferably some work experience. I'd say if you don't have work experience. You could tr still try to uh, submit your application, and but you have to have a real good, strong motivation, and maybe you can compensate with really good grades. Uh, but in principle, uh, I would say that's it. Uh, so I would um, advise um, you to to basically submit your application. Application at IIT is, is free of charge. So uh, as of I would. On top of my head, 22nd of uh, November, so pretty soon, yeah. you can start uh, applying. Oh, thank you so much for the answer. And question for you, Iona. This is the question from Ian. Uh, currently, I am studying Master in Tourism and Sport Manager and Management in Poland. Uh, is there any possibility for me to uh, to do st student mobility via Erasmus Mundus uh, to Harvard School The Hague? Any uh, opportunities uh, for him, uh, Yona? Um, if I understand correctly, he's, is the question is if you can come on an Erasmus for the masters. Yes, yes, correct. Unfortunately, we don't facilitate that at the moment. Uh, we have just we have an MBA program uh, in hospitality management, but and we've just launched our new masters in hotel leading transformation. Um, and this this intake was the first one, mm -hmm. so we're still developing that. Uh, yeah, the, the the Erasmus, the links. So right. at the moment, unfortunately not. Okay. And then related to the another questions that uh, is there any a uh, scholarship offer that Hogger School the Hague um uh, uh, what does it provide? Um there is a uh, if they go on their website, in our website, you can look um there is one scholarship that um the golden the tulip, I think it's called, um, that they can apply for. Uh, we don't have that many, unfortunately, um, but there is one they can apply for. Okay, cool. But just for the information for the Indonesian students, of course, for the Pontius University of Applied Sciences, uh, you do have the Orange Sulip Scholarship um, open very soon. And then, you, of course, you can apply for it. Okay, we're still waiting for the questions from our audience from the YouTube. Don't forget just to type it on your comment or your uh, chat box. Yeah, uh, one of our team is going to transfer the questions to my screen over here, and then I'm going to read to the speakers. And of course, after the session and throughout this event, you can visit all the speakers through the virtual booth because European Higher Education Fair, it is still going on until 6 p.m. today. Okay, so I am going to give the floor to three of you, okay, like one each, uh, let's say, four or five minutes to give the closing statement and also to promote your institution. I think I'm going to read a good cup. Uh, uh, the floor is yours. Yes, please, please promote IHD Dell and also your closing statement. Okay. Um... Well, I, I don't have any slides, um, but I guess uh, I can just tell the story in five minutes. Uh, so IIT Delft is uh, Institute for Water Education is, is based in Delft, the Netherlands. Um, and we exist for uh, over 60 years. Um, we're an so-called Institute for uh, International uh, Education. So Basically, we were one of the first institutes in the Netherlands that uh, opened specifically 
for an international audience. So you can pretty much say that, that um, having people from all over the world um, in our building is, 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 is something we have done for 60 years and it, it's in our DNA. So um, what do we do? Uh, IG Delft is, um, is really special because we focus on, on, on water. Um, and, and basically we uh, have a lot of disciplines uh, in our campus uh, in Delft. Uh, normally a lot of different disciplines. Normally you would find them at, at different faculties, even at different universities. But we uh, have, have disciplines like civil engineering, uh, biology, uh, earth, um, uh, the earth sciences, but also um, disciplines like uh, economics, law, uh, and social sciences uh, uh, in our um, uh, building, and, and, and we offer it. And, and basically those... Um, all have a relation to uh, water and water management. So um, students uh, come to IHG Delft to study water in a different, um, um, basically in, a, uh, in one program, um, an MSc program. And um, what we uh, are doing is, is uh, students can um, basically learn uh, something specific um, in their field of interest related to water, but also they meet with uh, different other uh, students uh, who focus on their, um, their discipline. Uh, and for example, uh, there are students focusing on water engineering, but also students focusing on water governance and management and students focusing on uh, water and sanitation. And by basically bringing all those uh, students together, uh, they learn from each other and learn about these different uh, disciplines. So um, as of next year, uh, we offer an MSc program in um, water and uh, sustainable development. Uh, this is a one-year uh, MSc program, and um, it's, it's new. It replaces all the MSc programs we offered uh, uh, until now. And, and this program basically uh, is, um, is for practicing water professionals uh, from all over the world. Um, and basically, um, students can... Uh, select a thematic track um, and, and for example we have a thematic track on water, food and energy uh, water hazards and climate water and health and water resources and ecosystem health so, so different aspects of uh, water management and they can study either of these tracks uh, from a specific disciplinary background and that can be from an engineering background. It can also be from a, a governance and management uh, background, or I'd say from a, a background, uh, for example, uh, digital innovation. So if you're really uh, interested in uh, working on um, geo observation, working with uh, citizen science, computer models, all related to water management, that is also a possibility to study one of these tracks um, and then focusing on that. Um, so basically, uh, that's it. Um, students uh, can, when they enter the program, um, basically select their own tracks, um, se select their own modules, and they're held by a coach uh, that is assigned to them when they're admitted uh, to the program. Programs start in uh, November uh, next year, one year duration. Um, and I'd say to everybody uh, who's interested, visit our website, apply, and um, 
if you are watching now, just go to our booth and you can uh, chat with me and I can answer the questions you have. Awesome. Thank you so much, Edward. And over to you, uh, Michelle from Fontys University of Applied Sciences. Uh, please give uh, your closing statement and also promote uh, your institution. Okay, well, what I'll do, I'll, uh, one second, I'll share my screen so that I can go over the, that I can uh, have some sheets. Uh, Okay, very, by, by the way, uh, first remark of course is that all universities in, uh, in the Netherlands are good universities. Eh? The, uh, we, like, uh, we like the students to be in a place where they're happy and where they can do the study they really want to do. Eh? So it's, it's not a competition or whatsoever. So I want to inform you as much as possible. And it's not only why should you study at Fontes University, but also why shouldn't you and perhaps choose another one or, or choose, it, choose it in another uh, place. Well, first of all, um, Fontes is a university of applied science. That means that it's, um, uh, sorry, this one we skip. That means that it's uh, basically a, a university that uh, uh, does a lot of practical works. Eh? We have uh, internships, uh, we have a lot of uh, practical work, and uh, we start from what we say the authentical task. Eh? So uh, basically what we try to do is, uh, is to try to accommodate you with programs in the field of ICT, engineering, business, art, logistics, allied health sciences, and communication. And there are also uh, opportunities to specialize, yeah? minors, internships, uh, in minors and internships, and there is a big opportunity in our region to work. Yeah? And basically we're the Silicon Valley of, um, of, of Europe. So that's, um, and, and together with the Technical University of Eindhoven, of course. Uh, what do we offer? Interactive learning, hybrid learning, uh, social labs, practical approach, lecturers are experts and coaches. Uh, so not only coaching, but also they know what they are coaching. Uh, personal attention, classroom interaction. Uh, some of the groups are not bigger than 24 people and uh, respectable uh, opinions, open-minded, but that will go for every university, I assume. Uh, what's the difference between a University of Applied Science and a research university? Well, basically, it's the combination of theory and practice. It can be four years, but what I already said, also three years. It's practical assignments, project-based education, uh, internships are mandatory, and it's supplying basically existing knowledge and sometimes trying to find uh, the borders of the, the domain knowledge. Uh, uh, both educational systems result in a bachelor and or in a master degree. Yeah? So whether you do uh, research or uh, an, an applied science university, but you can also step over from the one university to the other, what I already mentioned. Yeah? We work together with the Technical University Eindhoven, but also Tilburg University, and also in the future Maastricht University, because basically uh, the bachelor can also be a hub to another master. Yeah? And again, Important is that you study the thing you like to study, yeah? and not that uh, we're not uh, uh, soul searching or whatsoever. Uh, we have three campuses in Eindhoven, in Tilburg, and in Venlo, all with their own uh, special things. Uh, we offer a variety of uh, bachelor, what I already mentioned, economics, logistics, ICT engineer, communication arts and allied. I myself, I'm from ICT. I'm very proud to, to do the international stream and uh, we're the biggest in the Netherlands uh, regarding ICT. Uh, the the course-based uh, uh, division had uh, 500 plus students uh, last September. So uh, due to, we thought that would be a bit less with COVID, but it uh, went very well. Uh, allied uh, health, yeah, physiotherapy, medical imaging, master in care and technology. These are the studies you can follow. In arts, you can do become a dance bachelor or a master in architecture in urbanism or chore choreography. Uh, there are various, um, various opportunities uh, without, from which you can choose. And perhaps later on, uh, you should contact uh, the representatives in Indonesia if you want to get it more into detail. Uh, economics, marketing, um, engineering, uh, from automotive to megatronics, 
Uh, and of course, ICT. Uh, uh, I can elaborate on this a little bit more, but I won't, uh, given the time. Uh, but we have a broad bachelor, so you start with all five uh, business technologies, software engineering, infrastructure, and media design, and then the first half year, you choose one of them. So you still have an opportunity to change in the first half year without that the study becomes a bit longer. Logistics, that's the same thing. It's a four-year program. We do all kinds of internships with uh, very, very interesting uh, companies uh, around Eindhoven. Eindhoven is a booming uh, environment. These are some practical matters. What's really important is that because it's booming, I would uh, really, uh, yeah, well, press on the fact that you have to try to do the accommodation via Fontis because the housing uh, uh, issue, and that's not only in uh, Eindhoven, but everywhere in the Netherlands, but especially in Eindhoven, the housing uh, issue is, is getting um, yeah, a little bit more difficult. But then again, we can help you the first year. Um, so we're happy to uh, share all these, uh, all, all these things uh, with you. And if you want to have some more information, we have some repre representatives who you can call in, uh, in, in uh, Indonesia and they will answer you in Indonesia. Thank you so much, Michelle. For the last one, I'm going to move to uh, Yona from Potter School The Hague. Over to you. Perfect, thank you. Uh, I will just quickly share my screen while I'm at it. <laughs> Might as well. Sorry for the chaos. That is my desktop. Um, so quickly uh, about Hotel School of Hague in five minutes. I'll do the pitch. Um, so we are at University of Applied Science. That's why I'm here. Uh, today we have two campuses, one in Amsterdam, one in The Hague. Uh, we offer only one bachelor. We offer a bachelor um, of arts in hospitality management. Um, that is um, the way I like to present it is a business degree. It's a business administration within uh, the context of hospitality. Um, we are the second oldest hotel school in the world after Lausanne. Um, and, you know, we're founded in 1929. Um, so we have a lot of alumni. We have a lot of industry people everywhere. Um, and so on. Uh, this is, you know, it's not only Fontes that has a new shiny building. Uh, we also <laughs> uh, we also redid our campus in The Hague recently uh, over the summer because it was the last time was in the 80s. Um, so it was really dusty. Um, so uh, we have a nice new building that can facilitate uh, all the students to come in um, and then obviously connecting spaces um, for them and of sustainable materials, but you can find a lot of videos about it uh, on, on, on our YouTube page, um, actually. Um, and um, moving on to what we actually do. Uh, so we are uh, uh, obviously 100% English education. Like I've said before, we're really small scale, having uh, 300 uh, students per campus in a year. Um, we have the, our lovely combination of theory and practice um, and research within our curriculum. Um, we are both, uh, we are voted the best hotel school in the Netherlands for 10 years now. Um, and uh, we are the number five in the world um, after the hotel schools in Switzerland. Um, and uh, we, we work hard on keeping that rating up. Um, in terms of how our program looks, uh, because I've said you know that we have only one bachelor. Um, so the way it looks is that the first year uh, students come in, they stay on campus. So we do offer them accommodation for the first year. That's why the tuition is also a little bit more high uh, for the first year. So they stay on campus, they share a room, they're part of their learning and, and then practical education creating um, together in the, in the environment. Um, then after the first year, um, we send them off to their first six months internship. We have a placement office that can help them choose whatever they want to go, uh, find a hotel, find a country. Do they want to go to Hawaii to be on the beach? Do they want to go to, um, you know, to Paris um, to, to walk around and do their internship there? We have a, a department that is a, will help facilitate whatever it is. Um, and then after those six months, they return to hotel school. Um, then they need to find an uh, accommodation by themselves. We do help them. Um, but as Michelle said, it is a difficult, the whole of the Netherlands is a bit of a, a difficult situation in terms of housing. We do help, uh, but uh, we do also, we have internal groups that students can pass on apartment from other students. So we really try on, but uh, it is the, um, a bit of a downside of, uh, <laughs> of such a great, such great cities in the Netherlands. 
Um, and then they go on with their with their curriculum and then they have a last internship as well um, in year four. Um, and that one, they don't need to come back to a till school after that. What usually happens is that they receive it as a job uh, after they get they get hired on the place. And that's why we have a 96 percent ratio of, of students finding a job within six months of, uh, of finishing because of the, the last internship um, that facilitates that. Um, in terms of courses that we teach, uh, you know, people think it's only hospitality, but honestly, we do um, the whole of business acumen from finance, fundamentals, HR, culture and marketing, entrepreneurship and revenue management, uh, data analysis, digital skills. Um, so we really want our students to to by the end of the four year program to really be a holistic, you know, just a manager uh, and leader and be able to go in any industry they want. Um, this is why, funnily enough, one out of three graduates ends up in hospitality, but one out of three uh, opens their own business and becomes an entrepreneur uh, because they have the, the, the soft skills and the, um, the soft skills and the hard skills to do so. Um, so really, hotel school prepares you for a career um, anywhere. Uh, we have, uh, lastly, oh, oh. We have also a lot of student activities that you can participate, sustainability clubs, investment clubs, TEDx. Um, these are prices, obviously the first year uh, is more expensive because you get accommodation, uh, but I can help you know, later on. Uh, you can find them on the website. You can always reach out to me um, if you need any help. Um, the documents we've discussed before is the same standardized, uh, you know, diploma, motivation, a CV English. Um, and all in all, applications are open until 1st of May. Um, if you want to apply for, for the start of August 2022 or February 2023. Um, and that is it. I'm out of time. I'm out of breath. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you for all the speakers for this session. Thank you for the very insightful information. And also, it's really lovely to see you connect on the Netherlands. So guys, thank you so much once again. And for the audience, please come and see virtually uh, all these institutions through the virtual booth because European Higher Education Fair, it's still going on until at 6 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. My name is Molly and also to all the speakers, thank you once again. And then we uh, uh, we joined for the last uh, session uh, at uh, 5 p.m. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you, Molly.